In this video, I want to show you the steps how to create and organize macros in Zendesk. So a macro is essentially a prepared response or action that any super agent can apply when they're working on tickets. So to create a new one, what we need to do is that we need to go to the admin center. And then on the admin center, then we can just search for macros. And then this will take us to the macro settings. So we'll be able to see a list of active macros and then any inactive ones. And then to create a new one, we just need to click on this button that says add macro. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to enter a name. So the way macro is organized is that we can give them category. So in this case, for example, I'm going to create a macro that I'm going to send uh, related to order tracking. So the category of the macro is called order tracking. And then I'm going to separate the category of the macro with the macro name by using double colon sign. And then this time, what I want to do, I guess I want to uh, create a macro where I can share tracking information to my customer when they reach out to me. So that's the macro name. And then I can make this macro available for everyone or, or only for agents in certain group or just me. So in this case, I want to set this for everyone. Now, this is the, the, uh, the core thing of, of macro is that you can specify different actions. So you can change the subject, change the status, the brand. Basically, you can change almost all the ticket attributes uh, through macro. But in our example over here, we want to use the macro to reply to the customer. So I choose the comment mode is public because it will be a public reply. And then here's the content that I want to insert. So for example, I want to say hi, and then I want to insert the customer's name. So ticket request or first name. And then I want to include information related to the tracking uh, instructions. Now, once this is done, um, another action that I want to set is that I want to set the ticket status as solve. And I'm going to hit create. So once it's, it's created, and then I can see the macro is over here. Now I'm going to head back to the Zenda support side. I'm going to refresh the page and I'm going to find a ticket that I can reply using the macro. So for example, let's just use this one. So if I choose macro and then for example, then the one that we just created is under order tracking. And then we also have other categories like billing, product questions, promotion, quick update and so on. So the one that we want to use is order tracking and then I believe that was the share tracking info. So when you apply that macro, then you will be able to see the text that we defined in the macro. You can still modify the text um, by adding a few more details if you like, but when you're ready, just send the comments and then the comment will be sent to the customers. And that's basically all the steps that we need to create macros in Zendesk. Thanks for watching.